my channel. Today I have a super fun DIY for you. I got several requests to do this actually and I really wasn't sure what it was because I had never personally used it before but a lot of you guys on other DIY videos were wanting me to do a DIY for Lush's shower jelly. So I kind of looked it up and I've combined a few different recipes together. So I hope for those of you who have been requesting this video this is everything that you were hoping for. So I also wanted to hop on here and let you guys know that I have a huge massive giveaway going on on my channel right now so if you have not entered that make sure to do so. I'll have the link in the description box down below for that giveaway video. Also, if this is the first time you're on my channel and you're watching one of my videos, hello and welcome. I would love for you guys to click that subscribe button. That way you're notified every time I upload a new video. So without much more talking here in the beginning, we are just going to go ahead and get on to the DIY. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pick out your favorite shower gel. I have to tell you here in the beginning, the Dove one worked a lot better than the Caress one for some reason. I'm not really sure why. But you're going to go ahead and take a half a cup of your shower gel, and this is going to be the first thing that we mix in. Um, both of these smelled amazing, so you can literally just pick whatever shower gel you like the smell of most. Any type of soapy shower gel should work. So I'm just going to mix that in, and then you're just going to need one packet of gelatin. A few recipes I saw called for two, and I felt like that just made them a little bit too firm. So this gave it still kind of that cushy feel, but it wasn't like a straight up gummy bear or something like that. So to help dissolve the gelatin, I'm going to mix in 3 fourths of a cup of really, really hot water. The recipe called for boiling water, but I just brewed some hot water through my Keurig because I'm lazy like that, but it worked perfect. So anyway, I'm just going to be mixing this really, really thoroughly until I'm absolutely certain that all of the gelatin is mixed in. Then I'm just going to be adding one teaspoon of salt. I literally have no idea what this does for the recipe, but without it, it did not work at all. Like I said, I tried this a few different ways. Um, so the teaspoon of salt I guess is very important so you just want to mix that in too and then you can just add a few drops of your favorite food dye since this was a purple shower gel you could totally skip this step but I just wanted mine a little bit more intense so I added a couple drops of purple and continued to stir Once all of your ingredients are mixed together, then you can just kind of spoon off some of the bubbles at the top. When your gel sets up, it's going to set up with the bubbles. So if you don't scrape that off, that's just gonna be kind of how it sets up. So I'm just going to be using a baby food container for my mold and I'm just going to be pouring this in until it's mostly full. You'll probably need a couple of these because I didn't wanna make one individual shower jelly too big. As you're pouring it, you're going to get a few more bubbles so you can just scrape the remaining ones off before you put this into the fridge. So this is the same recipe, just mixed a little bit differently, and this is the one that I did with the Dove soap that worked better. So I'm not sure if what I'm doing now made a difference or not, but I'm just going to show you both. So what I'm doing here is mixing the 3 fourths cup of water with the gelatin first, and then mixing the salt in with that hot water, so that was completely mixed in. And then after this, I'm then going to add the soap. So for whatever reason, this one's set up better. I don't know, like I said, if it's the way I mixed it or if it's just the particular shower gel I used so if you make this just keep that in mind that the Dove one worked better for me so once everything was already mixed in all of the other ingredients the soap was the last thing I added and I just stirred this around until it was completely mixed through For this one, I wanted to do a really pretty minty teal color, so I did one drop of green food dye and one drop of blue food dye mixed with the white soap. It gave me this absolutely gorgeous color, so I loved the way this one turned out. This was definitely my favorite one. So once again, I just scraped off the bubbles and then poured it into my molds and then I let this sit in the fridge overnight. And this one I did cover up with saran wrap since it was an open cup. So here is the final result on the blue one, and this one was the final result on the purple one. This one was not nearly as set up. It was a lot more um, goopy, and it would just have dissolved completely in the shower. I had my official poke tester here with me, so she definitely liked the blue one better than the purple one. So that was just kind of the difference between these two. This one was just more like 
mushy, blah. The other one was actually like the Lush shower jelly. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you guys next time.